Hello guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how we can copy WordPress website to your new host. So you can copy any WordPress website. Suppose sometimes we find some amazing 3D view website and we want to create that type of website. And sometimes we don't know how to create that overall thing, overall layout and everything. So you don't need to worry about anything. You are going to copy that whole website to your new host. Okay. So suppose as you can see here, that's the website here, coffeecop.com stack staging website here. And as you can see, this is the very simple WordPress website. As you can see, here's a section and the images and the content branding and everything. So I want to copy that whole website to this domain 007.com stack staging domain. So as you can see here, there's hello world. There's nothing. Let me just refresh this. It's nothing here. And as you can see here, this is the website here. This one is okay. And I don't have access of this website. I don't have a credential of this website, but still I want to copy that whole website to the another domain. So as you can see here, this is the web as you can see here, this is the WordPress, right? So it means this is the WordPress website. Now, how can I do this? So it's really very simple. There's three to four steps to copy the entire website to the new domain. So how we can do this? So first step is we need to find the WordPress website. So I just on this one website okay now this is the wordpress website what i need to do i just need to press ctrl and s okay command and s so just press like this ctrl plus s like this and we need to save this okay and you can save this in anywhere like let me just save this in a desktop just save it and wait some seconds okay this will save the entire website let's open the desktop and wait some seconds yeah done as you can see here coffee cup files okay so what i need to do i need to open this page coffeecup.html okay and as you can see here the whole website is here see this one amazing right that one so this website is in a local host but i want to convert this website to the wordpress because it's just a html template okay so how can i do this how can i uh, use this website in a wordpress so it's simple so open here and as you can see here there's some components like all the images that saved here cool now first of all i want to do one thing i want to use that whole website in the my new domain okay and this domain is this one okay so first of all i need to log into cpanel because that's my own domain right so i can log in into cpanel okay so first of all log into cpanel so you will find the cpanel look like this okay and as you can see that's the domain here this is the staging domain okay now you can use any domain okay now what you need to do you need to scroll down and in every cpanel you will find the one click wordpress installation this one we need to click on this wordpress but before this we need to remove the all files from the file manager okay and let's open the file manager to check there is some file in the public html or not so as you can see here this is the public html folder okay so open this public html folder and as you can see the html files so we need to make sure this should be delayed just delete this file okay great now as you can see this folder is blank there is nothing now go to the your my service okay here and scroll down and you will find in the cpanel is wordpress and in every cpanel you will find this one click in every hosting you will find one click wordpress installation so you have to install wordpress in your domain and we are going to install the basic theme here okay now first of all just on one click and wait some seconds to install the wordpress so as you can see this is installed so i'm going to open the stack staging so let's click on continue english and my title site title is suppose coffee this one and just install wordpress just click on create password click on login that's the dashboard okay now let me just open my website here how it will look you can see here this is the hello world and simple one page website here is the default right now i already have one file okay so what i need to do go to the file manager here and just refresh this and you will find the all wordpress website files here great now what i need to do here let's open the my tab first of all go here okay let's open that html page this one okay make sure this one and as you can see here once you open that page okay and you will find here just click on that image and open image in new tab like this and as you can see here this is uh, the in the url you will find the wp content slash upload 20201 okay so it means all these files saved in this folder it means 2020 and 01 so what i need to do here we need to create the folder okay 2020 and 01 
so as you can see here wp content upload so it's 2020 and just open this again create one more folder is 01 and under that folder we need to upload files okay so that file we have saved here in the coffee cup files this one now let me just upload the file click on select upload and we need to upload the, all these files here like this and upload it so this one is stored in 20t0 and 01 okay now what we need to do here we need to just go to the here let's open that file html file in vs code okay so open this in vs code and now what we need to do here we need to we need to change the url okay we need to change the url how can i do this so it's really very simple the old url we old url we know that this is the uh, coffee cup url this one we need to replace that url with our new url and the which one is the new url new url is our 007 staging website right this one so open the vs code and just press here control f okay we have to find the coffee one okay so 63 is here and we need to replace with this 007 url okay just replace and i click on replace all done all changes done now we need to replace more things so what you need to do you need to find the upload folder just up find the upload folder and you see there are a lot of 36 upload folders right so as you can see here 2020 fine so let's find the 2020 2020 okay this is 36 so what i need to do as you can see we already have created one uh folder right is 2020 01 so what i will do i will just change 12 to 0 1 okay so let's find this more 12 folder uh, yes there is more so how can i just find it so i just need to what i need to do 20 t0 slash and 12 so as you can see here there are 12 around 12 folders so i just replace with 20 t0 0 1 and replace all done okay Cool. now what i need to do here go to the file manager okay where is our file manager we have uploaded all in 2020-01 right now go to the public html here in the main directory okay now here we need to create one file okay and that file is new file and i can just say here uh, home new dot html okay create and open and this is open now go to the vs code copy the whole code called just control c go here and just paste it here like this okay and now we just need to click on save and close okay. now as you can see your new coffee website is still look like this okay but now what i need to do here go to the just slash and just type here home new dot html that page we have created right home home new dot html just enter and you will find this website so as you can see here there are a lot of issues like uh, as you can see here i can't find the css see this website is not look good as that we had thought like so how we can do this so how we can resolve this issue so it's really very simple go to the file manager again here and just click on upload okay and uh, we need to what we need to do here we need to upload that folder also which one folder as you can see a cup coffee this one folder we need to just upload the as it is this folder here and just upload it sometimes your host will not support the folder uploading so you can upload the zip file and then you can unzip this file okay so it's done loading yeah done now let's refresh this just go back to the home.new page and wait some seconds so as you can see here this is the whole website as you can see we have changed the all url so all the images and the content and everything is here good now this is the wordpress website now how can i add it the menu and how can i add this to the my website because whenever i click on this coffee dot here so this will redirect me to the here again okay how can i do this so it's really very simple so what do you need to do here you need to go to the dashboard okay this one here and you can create the menu okay you can have the menu so what you can do here just go to the theme you can select any theme like suppose let me just activate this one theme 
done as you can see there is a menu just click on the menu click on primary menu and just click on create menu done now let's go to the pages now you can create the add new page here just type your home you can write anything here just click on publish let's go to the dashboard again and what do you need to do we just need to click on the setting option here okay and as you can see here we can make any page to the home page so let's go to the reading option here and you will find the home page should be static and that is some home page and just save it then now let's open the website again so this is the uh, anything actually this is nothing here now let's go to the reading again and as you can see here the menu option in appearance just go to the menu okay now click on the view all and you find the home page just add to the menu now click on the custom link and here just uh, say uh, in the is like new home and the link is we know that is home new dot html go menu just paste to your menu here add to the menu like this and just save it now open this website and just refresh this and you'll find the home and new home right so whenever someone click on the new home so they will redirect to the html page so what you need to do here you need to create the entire look like this this menu okay like this menu in your new page here okay so whenever you do this so this the whole website okay this whole website uh, is you can do anything like suppose you already have a design like this right in the uh, someone else website or your previous website uh, design is here now you need to just design the menu simple and you can just attach the all these pages that's it so that's the very easy and amazing way to host your one website okay or clone any website any wordpress website to the, your new host thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask me and comment please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye